Well, hello there. I have been asked by several people to actually do a kitchen kind of show and tell of some of the items that I bring with me on a trip. Now I say some of the items, if you could see this entire, um, and I'll put a clip in there, of what I have here. Um, I do travel with this almost every trip I take. Some I can modify a little bit. If I have to travel very lightly, I won't take quite as much of this with me, but for the most part, the key pieces are here, and I pretty much use them every trip, or a portion of them every trip. So I have some autoimmune condition that I'm trying to um, work through, and the main way that I do that is by controlling my diet. And so I am traveling again, and I thought this would be the perfect time to kind of show you what I'm doing. Now I am staying in a residence inn, and so I have use of a full kitchen. However, I still bring most of this with me because sometimes, for example, they won't have a cutting board in the room, you know, and or it's yucky looking. So I'll wanna bring, you know, a small cutting board with me. But I thought I would quickly kind of go through this with you just to go over these few things and, um, well, more than a few things, but that way you have a better understanding of what I can take with me. And I still carry uh, travel carry-on only. This is all in my carry-on suitcase. And, but I too take um, a carry-on bag that's you know right at the size limit and sometimes smaller. And then I also take a backpack. And then I'm always carrying a very compact eight to 10 item castle wardrobe so that that way I can put all of these things um, and travel, um, you know, sometimes for a month, I could travel for a month at a time easily with, with these kind of items and still be able to eat well and take care of myself and take care of my health and enjoy my, my trip. So let me, let me start with, um, probably the most important thing, which is I always have a lunch box with me. Now, um, and this is locking. What I like about the fact that it has a lock, I have a, let me see. So it has the locking sides, and actually I rinsed this out so this is a little wet. It has the locking sides and it has a seal so that you can actually put this down in a bag and the sides won't pop open. So this is a bento box, um, and I'm actually putting this together incorrectly. It goes this way. Um, but anyway, I always have a lunch box with me of some sort. Now, I also have the stasher bags, and you may have seen these, um, and I've I have been using these for years. So if I'm going bare bones, I will just bring stasher bags with me and I won't bring the extra lunch box. But I have these and since I'm staying in the residence inn, I can actually use these as food storage in the refrigerator, which is really awesome. And to go along with my lunch box, I always carry one of these ice bags. And this comes in handy, you know, if I stub my toe, um, you know, or I have a headache or something. So you put ice, down in here and um, this is leak proof. You can also use this as a hot water bottle, which is also comforting and nice to, to have. But then my whatever lunch I decide to pack and whatever container I decide to pack it in, this is one of my lunch bags, but it's collapsible and it's wonderful. Um, so I can actually pack um, I could pack my water bottle and my thermos in there as well as my lunch box, but then it completely folds flat and goes inside my, my suitcase. Um, okay, so also uh, thermos, sorry about the noise. I love this that it has multiple pieces. This is a luxury piece. When I have to travel very lightly, I have to be super careful with weight. Um, I will not bring this one with me, but this one is probably my favorite because it keeps water or tea or coffee at the correct temperature for a very long period of time. But I also like the fact that I can 
you know, serve myself a cup and then keep the rest of it warm. But additionally, if you weren't staying in a residence inn, this could serve as a, um, just a, a cup to be able to take your supplements in the morning or something like that. This is a Sea to Summit, I believe. Yeah, Sea to Summit, it's a tumbler. Um, the reason I bring this and it's always in my container is that it's a measuring cup as well as a collapsible drinking vessel, or you can have oatmeal in this or soup or whatever you'd like. I do bring a scale because I weigh my food and um, so I have a small portable scale that I bring with me. And let's look at some other stuff here. I do have, a, this is drawer liner, but I use it because sometimes I can't open jars. And, and so this helps me be able to open a jar. Sometimes I'm staying where they don't have a kitchen sink or, um, and I need to have a washcloth um, to do my dishes. This is actually a baby washcloth. And then um, these little things, this is actually a um, silicone container that will fit down in my lunchbox to separate some foods. And then these are some little, um, they're cute little um, bento box uh, picks that you can put in there to help you eat your food while you're on the go. And then in terms of um, seasoning, I always bring a little package of ghee in case I need oil for when I'm cooking. Um, I have seasoning salt, I have a smoked salt, I do have a hot sauce, I have some real salt, and then and this is overkill for this trip, but I'm actually cooking for this trip, so that's why I have this with me. Um, this is my mini spice rack, if you will. And, and I'm staying um, with a friend. We're going to a conference in Orlando, so we are, um, I'm actually gonna, going to cook meals. So we have uh, an assortment of spices for the meals I'm preparing. Um, I also bring these paper, small paper lunch bags that you can put cut apples in or carrots, celery, whatever, a sandwich. And I also bring parchment paper to cook on. If this kitchen had an oven, I would, uh, that's what I would use that for. I also have a couple pieces of aluminum foil. As I said before, I have a very small, very compact, very lightweight cutting board and I have some packets of sea salt because typically I'll put that in my lunchbox. I have a small bouillon cube to make vegetable broth with for cooking. I also have some instant bone broth or chicken broth. Uh, if I get stranded and need to have something to eat, um, I can do that. I do bring a pair of collapsible uh, chopsticks with me. So these come apart, but they're really super easy to use. I have a spoon, I have a meat thermometer or food thermometer, an orange peeler. This is, I have to have that. I have a vegetable peeler. I have a small uh, grater, which is awesome because I also have some nutmeg. So I'll be using that. I have some mini measuring spoons. I have a corkscrew and a bottle opener. I have uh, a teaspoon and a tablespoon measuring scoops and they weigh nothing because they're plastic. Um, I do have another wooden spoon. I have an assortment of coffee and tea and I have some loose tea actually and tea bags as well. I bring a water filtration system with me so that I don't have to buy water. Uh, I think we did buy some some water but um, this makes using the water that I'm cooking with makes it easier to filter and it tastes a lot better and gets impurities out. I always bring one of these whisks with me um, and I typically um, flip the batteries around so that it doesn't go dead in my um, in my bag and and then it turns itself off when you close it so it doesn't run the battery down in your bag. And the last thing I always carry, this isn't the only one I carry, but the last thing I always carry is 
a travel kettle. And I even have one for when I go to Europe that is 220 rated. So I always, always travel with a travel kettle because it just it just makes my stay so much better because there are things that you can consume you know you can make yourself a, a cup of soup if you got someplace at night and there was no place for you to have dinner um, you know it also is just great to be able to have a cup of tea or coffee in your room so this is my mini kitchen and like I said, this can be modified. I don't necessarily take all of these things, especially the, the spices. This is kind of a special trip. Typically, I only just take my seasoned salt and a couple of other little things here. But um, but this this is going to be a fun, a fun uh, trip. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you have questions, please put them down in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe. This is really helping me and helping the channel grow. I think I've reached over 100 subscribers now, which is really exciting. So thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.